I hope that this video is somehow helpful. Not actually to me, but the fact I know that I'm only one of millions and millions and millions of people in the world that are just like me, actually. They don't have necessarily the resources that I have in my heart or my purse, for that matter. I was able to escape my country and escape stigma, escape all the things that meant it okay for everybody to use the fact that I suffer from three mental illnesses as something to beat me with rather than as something with which they might, you know, be compassionate. I'm now living in a travel lounge motel in the arse end of New Jersey. I'm going to find kidney stone. I'm all by myself. And there's absolutely nobody in my life except my doctor, my psychiatrist, <laughs> the sweetest man on earth who says I'm his hero. And that's about the only fucking thing keeping me alive at the moment, if I go I'm his bloody hero. And that's kind of pathetic. And I gave so much love in my life. And I just can't understand how a person could be left so long. And I want everyone to see what it's like is why I'm making this video. The mental illness, you know, it's a bit like drugs. It doesn't give a shit who you are. And equally, you know what's worse is the stigma doesn't give a shit who you are. And suddenly, all the people who are supposed to be loving you and taking care of you are treating you like shit. And then when you're angry or you're hurt because they're doing it, it's like a witch hunt. They're pointing at you going, you see, see, this is why we don't want to know. And it's like, oh. I'm fighting, 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 fighting like all the millions and millions that I know I'm going to to stay alive every day. Which I'm doing because I love the people that are doing this to me. I'm not staying alive for me. For me, if it was me, I'd be gone. Straight away back to my mom. Because <laughs> I've walked this earth alone for two years now. As punishment for being mentally fucking ill and being angry that nobody would fucking take care of me. Specifically for being suicidal, actually, and for being angry. Everybody's so afraid of an angry woman, and what do I do that when I'm angry? I write angry emails. I don't stand screaming, shouting at people. I don't, you know, it's all these big hairy men that are supposed to be my family are so scared of the little woman who's sending them angry emails. They're like, that woman has been left. I've been wandering the globe for two fucking years. I was a five foot fucking four little fucking woman wandering the world for two years by myself. Nobody in my fucking life. Nobody. Except my business manager who can take any advantage he wanted. You know what I mean? And I'm all by my fucking self and it's a crime and it should not be acceptable to any man that knows me and claims to love and care about me, that I'm still sitting here after two years and I'm begging, 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 begging to be brought home. Somebody who loves me to come and get me, that's what I keep saying. No answer, never from nobody, nobody wants me. Why? Because I was angry that they all fucked off. Then they say they didn't fuck off while they're fucking off. Completely invalidating your reality. That's what happens when you, people think, mistakenly or otherwise, that you have a mental illness. They use it as something to invalidate every fucking thing you think, do, say, and feel. Everything you think, do, say, and feel is suddenly completely fucking invalid. And that's why I had to get up and walk the fuck away from Ireland, my kids, my everything, you know? Because I didn't want to stay alive and I'm not going to let somebody use the fact that they think, whether mistakenly or otherwise, I'm, I'm this, that, or the other fucking hell is, you know, use it as something to kill me with, or beat the shit out of me with, or make me feel like a shit person, you know? I'm doing my fucking best in the world like everybody else is the thing, and I know I have a good heart, even if I've been an a-hole a lot of the fucking time, you know? I didn't exactly have the greatest example, let's face it, with my own fucking parents, and you know, Jesus, the very ones bury you even when you're alive. I was invoiced for the fucking therapy, frankly, you know? Anyways, I'm really sad, it shouldn't be, and I know I'm just one of millions, and that's the only other thing that keeps me going to. But I am making this video because I am one of millions and that should be our fucking catchphrase from now on. One of millions, one of fucking millions. Why are we alone? What the fuck did we do? The people who suffer from mental illness are the most vulnerable people on earth. 
we can't take care of our fucking selves, you idiots. <laughs> you know what I mean? You gotta take care of us. We're not like every fucking buddy else. We're doing our best like everybody else. So now I got two young kids in Ireland. Nobody gives a fuck about them enough to fight for me. Come bring me home. I can't make it home by myself. I and what am I going home to anyway? Except a whole lot of shit. People treat me so bad. Everybody there treats me so bad. I am end up wishing I was dead. Or three fucking elves has made me suicidal anyway. And a bunch of assholes jumping on me like I'm a fucking cripple. And then I'm not allowed to be angry. It's like repeating my childhood all over again, you know? Where you get your face smashed in and fucking if you lift your hands and protect yourself. They're telling you you assaulted them. It's, it's like, oh my god, all these methods and the men, men, who've got my kids, you know? And I can't get anywhere near, and they're not even fighting for the kids' sake, never mind mine, you know? And I was like, oh god. And every day I've spent for two fucking years that my entire life is revolving around just not dying and that's not living. And I'm not gonna die, I'm not gonna die, but still. This is no way for people to be living and I am one of millions and every homeless person I meet in the street will tell me the same story. And the only difference between me and them is I have a fucking apartment. Which I don't anymore. Because <laughs> I live in a fucking travel lodge, everybody. Hello, children of mine. Why is it acceptable that your mother is living in the fucking travel lodge? That should not be acceptable in the RSA and the fucking New Jersey and you don't even care, for fuck's sake, the fathers of my children, how is this acceptable, it shouldn't be acceptable, am I not worth fighting for everything I gave you, and the mother of your children, John Reynolds, everything I gave you, everything I gave you, was the war, I wrote you a few angry fucking emails, yes I printed angry shit on fucking back, so fucking what, at the end of the day, what is going on? I can't, no one can manage this. I'm a five foot four fucking little tiny fucking woman. Strength is fucking my spirit, but not in my fucking body. Here I am now. Kidneys don't, you name I'm supposed to survive by myself. The only person in my life, my doctor, I'm reduced to begging the man to bring, bring me home, give me a sofa, anything. So that I'm not reduced to living in one fucking home like this as if I'm some kind of criminal. What the fuck? How come, too, I can have one kid but not the other? Yeah, you know, you're like, oh, no, you can't have your 13 year old, but the 10 year old you can be like loose with, but you're such a monster that you can't have your. This is Tuzla in Ireland. I mean, for fuck's sake, like, how ludicrous is this? I'm supposed to be supervised with one child and not with the 10 year old child. Loose on the 10 year old child, <laughs> no one protecting him. I'm the only one thinking of him. This is a fucking joke. Anyway. I needed to make a video, I've been thinking for the two years, you know, that people should see what this is like, not just write, there's no point just writing about it and, you know, ranting now and then on Facebook, which I'm sure you'll say, well, this is a rant too, which of course it fucking is, people be fighting for their lives, I don't want to die, I want to stay alive, I want to stay alive, I've got children, all my children, even the ones that are hurting me, even the bottom, all of them that are hurting me, John Reynolds, Frank, all of them, everybody that's fucking killing me right now. It's for them. I'm not going to die. But anyway, I wanted just to make the video that you would all see what the fuck it's like, you know? And understand that, like, one of millions, one of fucking millions, you know? Mental illness doesn't care who you are. The worst stigma doesn't fucking care who you are. And it's stigma is what's killing people. It's not the mental fucking illnesses. If you have a family, if you have a family member that suffers from a mental illness, care for them. Tenderness, love, care for them, visit them in hospital. You don't dump them in a bloody hospital and bugger off. <laughs> Hello, it's 2017. I had the money to escape. I was able to walk out of the bloody hospital and get on a plane and come to the greatest country on earth where strangers are saving my fucking life every day. What about everybody who can't do what I can do? What about everybody who hasn't got a fucking iPad and can talk to the strangers on Facebook? Who are kinder to me than my own loved ones, for fuck's sake. The strangers on Facebook send me fucking flowers and good wishes. I mean, for crying out loud. Two years solitary confinement is enough. Please, will somebody in my bloody family act like you give a shit and don't wait till you think I'm dying of fucking breast cancer, which is what they all thought a few weeks ago. Stop acting like bullshit. If I drop down there tomorrow, something you're all going to be obsessed. Get on a plane, look after your mother. 
crying, saying, I don't deserve this shit on your mother. What the fuck is going on? Like, what have I raised? You know, get me, please. And John Reynolds, tell her son to get me. And John Waters, tell her daughter if I can get me. And, like, Frank, get me. What's going on here? This is really sick. You're losing me. My spirit is so huge, it's so huge, and it won't die ever, but my body is tiny, and it is dying. My body is dying now, two years. And no one can say, I've been warning you, I've been writing to you for months and months and months, for the whole two years. Months and months and months, I've been begging on my knees, the same as this all kicked off two years ago with. The same email I'm sending two years later, that this all kicked off with, where I stated after his directly, somebody who loves me, please come get me. From then on, it's been nothing but an onslaught of go fuck yourself, Sinead. I'm the little red fucking hen. I fed everybody. I fucking fed everybody. I fed everybody. All you guys, all you men, the fathers of my children. Did I take a penny off you ever? Did I ever ask you for nothing? No. Did I pay all the bills? Yes. Did I pay all the kids everything? Yes. I'm the little red fucking hen. Are you going to leave me to die? And you're telling everyone you didn't while you're doing it. And it's not like you don't fucking know. Don't wait until it's too late. I'm five before. I can't cope no matter what my spirit and COVID. Don't say you weren't fucking warned. Please, guys out there, you have a family member. It doesn't matter. If you've already abandoned them, go get them. There's a woman named Martha in St. Vincent's with nobody. Her family couldn't give a fuck. They visit her. They visit her doctor. And they can't be bothered crossing the four feet of the car to see her. People out there... Go visit the people at your local psychiatric hospital because they're just like me, what you just watched. I'm one of millions, one of millions, one of the millions, sitting in nut houses by themselves with nobody, treated like pieces of shit because we're not dying of cancer. Instead we're dying of something emotional that somebody did to us that we don't deserve to be treated like shit for. Please, learn from this video. Go around your local psychiatric hospital if you're age 16 and all over. Get to know your local psychiatric patients who are beautiful hearted people. Be good and be tender to them and visit them. Love them and don't let them end up like me having to make pathetic fucking videos on Facebook begging people to help them.